All right, hey, what's up, guys? And I'm gonna be doing this tutorial again for Browser X. I left out an important part, thanks to people that have been messaging me that how is it possible for us to launch Homebrew instead of going to the website all the time and just scanning the QR code. All right, so I did leave out something crucial, something very important for us not to be doing this. And I messed up because I haven't done browser hacks in a long time already, a couple of months, probably since last year. And yeah, I did leave out something important, which makes it easier for us to launch Homebrew. All right. So first, we're going to need to download the starter kit. All right. Once we download it, just locate the folder wherever you have it. I'm going to I'm going to come to my downloads where I usually download everything. And then you're going to see the starter zip. And once you unzip it, make sure you get a program that extracts the zip file. All right. And once I unzip it, we're going to get this folder right here, starter. And you're going to get these three files here, 3DS themes and boot 3DS. All right. I'm going to go to my SD card. Where is it? All right, perfect. Here it is. I'm gonna drag it. And I'm gonna replace them because I already had homebrew before. So I'm updating the files. I mean, nothing's gonna get deleted, whatever you have. So perfect, I have to say manager still. All right, we're done with this step. Pretty easy, right? All right, put your SD card back in your 3DS. And let me start it real quick here. All right, perfect. All right, let's come to the home menu settings right here in the top corner. Top left corner, I mean. All right, let's click it. Now let's go to change theme. What this is going to do is going to allow us to install menu hacks, which will allow us to launch Homebrew once we power up our 3DS. We're going to be holding the L button and while well, it's being powered up, and it's going to launch us to Homebrew instead of doing this method where you scan the QR code. All right, so pick whatever color you want. I'm going to go with a blue one. All right, perfect. All right. Now we're done right here. Perfect. Now we come over here and we're going to see old 3DS, new 3DS right here in the bottom above credits. And we're going to see something Spider 31 Hex, which is only compatible with the 2DS and all 3DS systems from 10.6 all the way to 11.0. All right any region and new 3ds you're gonna be using skater 31 hex which only works for 11.0 all right so i'm gonna click the link spider 31 hex for 2ds and all 3ds systems and we're gonna get this link right here ylsa mth e a double l dot com spider 31 hex dot php so that's for the 2DS, 3DS systems, the old one. And now if you click on the new link, if you click on a new one, you're gonna get the Skater 31 Hex. Everything's the same, just it changes to Skater 31 Hex instead of Spider 31 Hex. All right, so, so click on whatever link is, is corresponding for your 3DS, all right. So I'm going to enter this website here. So let me, let me get my 3DS capture card ready. All right. Let's click on the, on the web browser. All right. Click on the settings for the internet. So the little wrench. Let's clear history and delete cookies just to play a save that way. We don't encounter any issues when trying to load the website. Let's press menu. 
and then press URL. All right. Now for all two for two DS and all three DS, you're gonna enter this link right here, and as you can see, it still says HTTP um, dash. I mean slash slash, um, and then you enter the link. All right. And for the new 3DS, make sure you enter Skater 31 hex. So I'm gonna enter the spider hacks here. For the 2DS and all 3DS systems, make sure you enter this one, the Spider 31 hex. And let's put it wireless 8 dot M T H E A L L. Make sure you insert this link correctly. I mean, other than that, you're gonna run into issues. Most likely, you you're gonna have to do redo the whole steps because sometimes when you try to launch it, it's give or throw an error that it says something invalid website or invalid address and whatnot. Right? So slash spider thirty one. X. So remember, you should say skater for the new 3DS systems. All right, spider hacks dot p h p, and then once we enter the link, press confirm. All right, now you're gonna see a yellow screen on the bottom. So when everything's launching, now you're gonna see the colors coming up. So once you see the colors, you should be good to go. Perfect. If it throws an error, you did something wrong, guys. So just make sure you follow this. All right. Now, once we launch to now, yeah. Now, since the homebrew launcher is launched, scroll down, and then we're gonna head to menu hex manager version 3.0. Let's press it. All right. <clears throat> now it says menu manager version 3.0 by Yellow's 8. Credits to him. Thanks and Smilum and the rest of the team. All right. Perfect. Now we're going to press install. We're going to get install, delete, configure, menu hacks. I mean, already, me, I already installed it just to make sure it works. So do not do what I do right now. I'm just going to delete it. All right. Do not do what I do right now. Just because I want to I want to do this tutorial with you guys. So just ignore the delete. I'm going to press install right now. All right. So I'm a new, I'm a new user. All right. For right now. So let's click install. And then getting system info detected system version 03DS 11.0.0 dash 33 USA. So that's, I'm confirming that's my actual 3ds firmware all right so everything's correct skip robin payload setup normally you should just press b so right here very important guys press b do not press a press b all right now it's gonna do its magic and it's gonna install menu hacks perfect all right install finish successfully press a to continue all right, so we press A. Now it's gonna take it back to the install, delete, configure. So now right here, press B, and then you're gonna get the press start button to exit. All right, perfect. You press start, and it should bring you back to the launcher. All right, so it's not gonna, it's gonna be a little bit tricky right now because I won't be able to show you guys that the homebrew is going to launch because it's going to give me a no signal so i mean don't worry about that guys homebrew should launch once you reboot it so i'm going to so i'm going to press start and then press a to proceed and then just hold the l button that way you can know that it's going to launch homebrew so every time you want to launch homebrew once you're rebooting your 3ds hold the l button and you're gonna see the magical thing happen, the screen turn colors, and you're good to go. All right, so I'm holding the L button. And there you go. Oh, it actually shows it. I thought it was not gonna show it for some reason. 
perfect. So that's it, guys. Just hold the L button, the top L button, while your while your 3DS is booting. So once is once your 3DS boots, hold the L button, press and hold it, and that's it. And homebrew launches to launch, and that's it, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you want to support my YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.